What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. This is Wi-Fi battle number two with this team. The last time we battled, we battled my boy, Emerald Miner. Um, let me just make sure Amelia is not sending me enough. Okay. Um, the last time I've had a battle with this team, Emerald Miner just... Uh, I'm not going to say anything, but he... he just go back and watch the video, please. But we are against Amelia. Um, also in my, not in my, I apologize, in the Discord server that I'm in. Um, really cool team. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm not going to sleep on the Haxorus. I'm not going to sleep on the, I'm not sleeping on any of his pokes. I'm a little bit under tiered. Make sure that it's not you. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have a couple battles. We'll see what we can come up with. So what do I want to do? Electivire? Sharpedo? What, are we, what is he going to start with? I predict Espeon. If it's not Espeon, it's going to be the gosh darn... Um, what's your name again? Archelops evolves into... Is that Archelops? Yeah, that is Archelops. I was thinking that was Archon, but Archon evolves into Archelops. So, Emilia, I love your lead card. Looking fresh. Meanwhile, I'm here just like... I'm about to, I'm about to take a W, I hope. I hope. The last time I... Let's talk about the Zeru team I have. Or had. The, the team before using this team? Absolutely garbage. Don't don't use that team. Don't use that team. Zeru as a Pokemon is not bad. But um, I need support. Let's just put it that way. Do not build a team around Zeru. If you can't help yourself. Okay. Or if you can help yourself. I'm just going to flip turn here. We go flip turn out of here. Shinotic is a very interesting Pokemon. I've actually been wanting to use a Shinotic myself. So the fact that Amelia brought that, it's a Rocky Helmet Sh Shinotic, which uh, catches me off guard a little bit. That's cool though. Very, very cool. Um, it's a fairy grass. So what I want to do is bring in the Melmetal. I know it has Strength Sap, which does scare me a little bit. I don't have a lot of special attackers, unfortunately. So he goes into the Spore. Nice. Nice. Oh man, that's a bummer. Melmetal can't do anything for the for these two battles. That's okay. That's all right. We're still in this. Um, what I'm gonna do? I kind of want to predict a switch, but I'm not sure yet. So we're gonna stay in double iron bash. See what we can do. Leech seed. Okay. Hopefully I can wake up this next turn. We're still sleeping. Zero IVs. We're feeling good. We're feeling really fast. That's a joke. Um, Shinotic is a cool Pokemon. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. You know, Amelia's Emil team is really, really cool. That is not what I wanted. That's what I was trying to avoid, ultimately. Very cool. Okay, Melmetal wakes up, hits the double iron bash. Hopefully, we can do some damage. Okay, that's a two-hit KO. We're good. Unfortunately, we take massive damage by that Rocky Helmet. So that, I am not looking forward to. That's almost half that the Shuno take did to us. That's no bueno. That's not, that's no bueno. Not at all. Okay. Shuno tick goes down. Shuno tick goes down. What are you going to go into next? What? Haxorus. I think he's going to, I think she's, she, sorry about that. Is going to Haxorus and um, Earthquake. Here comes the Haxorus. And you're going to Earthquake. I know what you're going to do. I see you. I see you. Okay. I'm not going to play it obvious because obviously that the last time I played it obvious against Emerald Miner, I, I, well, Emerald Miner was actually making some very cool plays. So the past is the past. Stop talking about Emerald Miner's battle. Focus on this one. Let's get the W. We're going to get that dub. That's what we're going to do today. Okay. Come on, man. Look, looking fresh with that crown, that eyepiece. Meanwhile, I'm over here looking like a nerd. Life is good. Um, what else was gonna say? I, I have I've been wanting to talk about something, and I completely spaced. It is what it is. All right. Can we talk about Haxorus for a moment? Shiny Haxorus is one of my favorite shiny Pokemon ever, ever, ever. Okay, so here comes Reuniclus. You're gonna Earthquake. Just like I figured, I should have gone into the Togekiss, but I think I, part of me thought it was too soon to go into Togekiss, and that's why I did not go into the Togekiss, so 
what are you gonna go out what are you gonna do next i have no clue what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take advantage of regenerator and i'm gonna go out into togekiss that's what we're gonna do now that i know we have an idea of what you're trying to do we're gonna take advantage of of uh, regenerator he stays in so um Haxorus is just like you know what i'm about to i'm gonna wreck havoc right now all right earthquake again is this banded is this scarfed if this is scarfed then we're okay what i want to do i i do not want an espion to come in so we're just gonna air slash for now because if espion comes in and magic bounces then um we're in trouble we're in deep trouble and obviously i do not want that to happen so bring out the espion please i know there it is there it is beautiful espion gets hit with the air slash so hopefully we can uh you know do something to it half i'm cool with that okay if we take out this espion we can go for thunder waves we can go for will o wisp we can do whatever we want to to my opponent's team so things looking good right now our team is under is oh future sight under tiered i was gonna say but that does not mean she's out of this battle for sure okay here we go espion goes down one of the biggest threats i had that my that um i was facing essentially and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna force the sharpedo to come out because i do not want to take any additional damage because of this uh, future sight especially you know against melmetal and my some of my other pokemon so what i'm gonna do i'm expecting this thing to head smash for sure for sure okay so future sight turn one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Reuniclus. I should be able to take an attack from this thing, unless it's banded. Then if it's banded, we're in a little bit of a bind, but we got Regenerator, so all is good. Meteor Beam. Oh, that uh, caught me way off guard. Very cool. Special attack goes up. What is your special? Oh, I think it, it does have a pretty decent special attack, if I recall. Meteor Beam hits, and it just blasts my Reuniclus. It didn't care. We live at five. You know what? I'm cool with that. 100% cool with that because what I'm going to do here. Oh, man. Sharpedo has some damage on it. We're going to go out into Sharpedo here. I forgot Rocky how much you know tick was a thing. We're going to go out into Sharpedo. We're going to take an attack. At least I'm hoping. Air Slash. Come on. Live this, Sharp. Sharp? No! Okay. That's okay. It's fine. We're okay. We don't got any Scarfers or anything like that. And this thing's pretty fast. Pretty fast. Um, I want a Togekiss. And I know that's not the best play that I have in my arsenal. But if I can live an attack from this thing, I can Thunder Wave. I slow it down a little bit for somebody to revenge kill. That's what we're going to do. And I think that's the best play that I got. I thought I was going to be able to get away without a Scarfer and just put Sharpedo in. No, that does, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. A lot of my weaknesses are covered for the most part. So there is that. But um, I still need something to outspeed. Okay, do not flinch. Togekiss, if you flinch, you... Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Togekiss. I really do. I really really do now i'm not afraid of this archelops anymore as a matter of fact what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come into electivire and then we're just gonna wild charge i think the rest of his team does oh uh, well not haxer is haxer res resists my wild charge so we'll see what i want to do it depends on my mood okay he comes out into what haxer puck who's puck puck the mincino the cincino um this isn't good because this thing outspeeds me also. Tail slap is a thing. I'm going to Dragon Pole here. Hopefully, it doesn't hit me with that Rock Blast. Bandit Cincino. You guys are missing out. If you guys have never used a Bandit Cincino or even Scarfed, you are missing out. Okay. So, very good switch on my end. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to Willow. Bring out that Haxorus or stay in. I don't care which one you do. Do one of the two. Unfortunately, since I have the specs, I do have to switch after I hit this will o -Wisp. Come on, what you gonna do, Sin? What are you gonna go? What are you gonna do, Chinch? Okay, Withdraw's Puck. 
All right, Corsola comes out. Corsola will definitely be able to take an attack from me. So I am switching out of here. Assuming it's Assault Vest. Assault Vest Corsola is kind of good. Okay, burned Corsola. This is a good battle so far. I, I am pumped. Okay. Do we let Reuniclus go down? What do we do here? I feel like I still need Reuniclus, but not really. So we're gonna sack off Reuniclus. Unless, maybe we still need Reuniclus. What do I do? I don't got my dark type. I'm gonna Reuniclus here. I'm gonna Reuniclus. Okay. That's what we're gonna do, Reuniclus. And then, uh, if you go Shadow Ball, you go Shadow Ball. Okay, I'm sacking off the, the Reuniclus, unfortunately. Reuniclus, I love you, and I'm sorry. One of my favorite Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon right there. I feel so bad. Okay, so we get a little bit more burn damage off, which is good to me, or for me. Um, we are going to go out into... I want to say Electivire next. And we just hit him with the Wild Charge. I mean, we're banded. This should hurt, right? It has to hurt. That's what we're going to do. If you perish body me, you perish body. But Corsola or Cursola is not the, the bulkiest Pokemon in terms of defense. So, okay, you withdraw. Come out. Bring in the top or the, okay, Archelops. She's sacking off the Archelops. I would too, to be honest. Archelops isn't going to do anything for the rest of this battle. Boom. All right, Archelops goes down. Awesome. Awesome. Unfortunately, we take massive recoil from that, which is a bummer. But we I feel like I still need my Electivire for the Haxorus. I really, really do. I really, really do. Because I'm banded. And I know banded doesn't mean everything, right? But I'm banded. Okay. So what do I predict? The rock type attack? Mel Metal. We're gonna Mel Metal here. Because we do resist the three attacks and U-turn. Assuming it has U-turn. And by three attacks I mean bullet seed, rock um. Rock Blast, and what's the other one? Tail Slap. We resist all three of those. And a lot of Zincino typically run those four moves right there. I just called it. I just called it. This is a good battle. This is a very good battle. If you guys never been to Mexico, their food tastes very, very fresh. And I know this is way off topic, but if you guys watched my last video, um, my girlfriend and my daughter came back from Mexico, and... Um, I haven't seen them in a whole week, which explains why I didn't upload all of last week. But um, aside from that, they the food from Mexico is very, very fresh. Um, the chips, the Cokes, the drinks, the um, candy, you name it. It's just a whole it's a whole different world out there. And, and unfortunately, it's not one of the richest countries in the world. So you you won't necessarily if you go to like the smaller um, cities and towns in Mexico then you're probably not going to have the best time of your life but it's you know it, it opens your eyes it's it's a different culture out there you guys should definitely visit one day if you guys have never visited i highly encourage it just be safe don't go to the bad areas don't 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 do that okay um what am i going to do here I, I feel comfortable double iron bashing given that a stab so that's what i'm going to do i know you're going to u-turn since you know what you're going to do what you gonna do? I feel bad bringing a Malmetal to this team. I should have asked what tier. So she's doing whatever damage she can get on Malmetal, and Malmetal is done. Malmetal's not gonna outspeed any other Pokemon. Maybe, Cor might be Cursola, but I don't doubt it. Oh, this is Life Orb, not Banded. Okay, boom and boom. There you go. Malmetal finally doing something, getting two KOs in this battle. I'm proud of you, Mel. Mel. Mel the Mel Metal. There's a nickname for it. I don't like nicknaming my Pokemon. Though I should. I've never I've never really liked nicknaming Pokemon. That's just how I memorize Pokemon names. Okay. We're just gonna get like we're gonna let Mel Metal go down here. And then we're gonna go out into the Kiss next turn. What other Pokemon do I have in the back? So I got Togekiss Electivire. And I have one more that I forget. Sharpedo went down. Electivire Togekiss. What's my third Pokemon? 
I don't remember who my other Pokemon was. That I feel so bad. Okay, close combat. Haxorus takes down my Malmetal. So that's awesome. I just melted. Okay, Electrobire. Dragapult is my other Pokemon. That's who it is. Okay, so Dragapult it is. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make this um, Haxorus worthless. And what I mean by that is I'm going to Will-O-Wisp. Not expecting the Will-O-Wisp, I think. I don't think you're... Ex oh, yeah. Actually, I revealed Will-O-Wisp earlier, didn't I? Okay, Will-O-Wisp again. If you want to hit me with the Dragon Claw or the Outrage, by all means. By all means. Okay, close combat again. That's fine. Now I have to switch. This is probably Scarfed. I'm thinking this is a Scarfed Axe, so. So we're going to just go into Togekiss. And I think we won. I think we won. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, though. Okay. There you go. Close combat. Not going to do anything to us. Mm, we eat that for dinner, breakfast, and lunch. End of midnight snack and the evening snack. You name it. Okay. Haxorus isn't going to do anything to us. What we're going to do next is just Dazzling Gleam to get rid of this thing. And that's game. At least I think that's game. Close combat, you still outspeed me, obviously. Part of me was a little surprised, but I, I, I lowered its attack. I didn't slow it down. Okay, this will definitely one K KO, given that it's not like a minus four or something. Maybe minus three. That's a knockout. And then we're just going to... Um, we're going to let Togekiss go down. And then we're just gonna take Cursola out with the um, with the Vile Charge. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, Air Slash. We're gonna Air Slash it up, and that's game. Okay. Don't flinch, please. I'll feel even more bad if you flinch. <laughs> oh boy, my opponent probably hates me now. Okay, here comes the Air Slash. People hate Togekiss for a very well reason. I hate Togekiss. I hate the fact that I'm using Togekiss, but I've been wanting to use a Togekiss for a while. I don't even have a King's Rock on this thing, and I'm still flinching it up. I feel bad. That's a good game right there. Amelia, I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. And there's the Metronome. That's a good game. That was very, very good. It, came, it, it was closer than you think. That's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. Me and Amelia are going to have another Wi-Fi battle. I'm going to use another team that I'm going to use in the future. So that won't be uploaded quite yet. But I'm taking your lead card because you look fresh. That's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure that you guys leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. I'll see you guys next time.